is this James Harden's representation telling this to the new front office of Houston that I want out and here are the three teams I want to go to? Pretty much. Is that what it is? Is that the actual nuts and bolts of it? And because the Sixers, I think, is a pipe dream. They'd have to break up. That Embiid or Simmons would have to be the one sent in the direction of I mean, Houston we- in order to get him. And you've already heard Daryl Morey say over and over and over again that he loves these two guys. Now, he could be saying that just to drive the price up. He knows Harden. He loves Harden. And he wants Harden there. But the whole idea is that you win with Simmons, Embiid, and Harden, correct? That would be the idea, yeah. that you keep all three of them because you need all three to beat the ultimate, like what's going on in Los Angeles, I imagine, or at least win your your conference. Doc kind of um, reiterated that, that they he was happy with the team that he had. Of course. So, I mean, he's going to say know. all that stuff. Also, you can't talk about Harden. Yeah. You're not allowed to. He's part of the Rockets. You can't come out yeah. and say, yeah, we'd love to have exactly. him, and here's what we're interested in. You you can't say this. That's so a quarter mil fine. <laughs> right. You can't, you can't, I guess, gauge the level of interest on anything publicly said because they're not allowed to say anything publicly. It just doesn't strike me as, like, would Houston take Tobias Harris, his big contract, and who else? Like, who are, like I don't know how that would work. One of them would have to be named Embiid and Sim- or Simmons. Yeah, there's no Where, way. Which is why, to me, the Heat makes sense. Like, they could be able to pull that off. They got a lot of guys who I said they should not break up for Giannis. I, but break them up for Harden? I'm not saying they should. No. I'm saying that it's more – I'm trying to be realistic here. Yeah, I'm in the same boat. I would rather okay. I would rather break up the Heat for Giannis than James Harden. No, I understand that. But what I'm saying is – in reality, no matter what I said, and everybody else who's come out here from Richard Jefferson to everyone else telling me I'm insane and I'm no longer going to die on that hill because I hear what everyone's saying. Rich, your word carries clout, no, man. Don't, don't sell yourself short. No, here, so what, what I'm saying to you is if Giannis is not walking through that door, and they'll know that, then maybe Harden is the person they want to go in that direction, and they have the pieces for it. Like, they can put together a package that Houston would say sold to. And, you know, so would Milwaukee, maybe. If I'm Milwaukee, I am selling out. Like, anybody not named Giannis and Holiday is available. Name it. Name it. Name it. I would think they'd have to get rid of Holiday. You'd want a threesome of Giannis... Middleton and Harden. I think that's good enough to compete with the Lakers, I think. So you just acquire Holiday and you send him out the door? Yeah, you, you acquired him to move him. Okay. But the problem with Milwaukee is but they I gave up. But I thought they love Holiday, and Holiday is the whole reason why Giannis is not going anywhere. Right, which but is why Milwaukee I bring it up can't this really way. make a move because they gave up all those first-round picks to, to get these guys in the first place. Right, so Harden can sit here and say all he wants. Right. Milwaukee doesn't really have the capital, draft capital. Is Houston going to be the first team to say, you've got two years left on your contract, sir. We don't care what you, you say. And what happened the whole thing that he gave John Wall the blue check mark to say, yeah, go get him? Yeah, because they worked out together. Yeah, what Florida, happened to that right? one? Yeah. James Harden's and then the next, out I, I just don't know. I mean, so many NBA superstars have gotten their way and – because that's the way things work in the NBA is you say, I want out and I want to go play with Kawhi. Okay, Paul George. <laughs> well, I want out, you know, I don't want to be here anymore. Okay, Jimmy Butler. You know, that's the way things go. Who's going to be the first team to basically turn to the NBA superstar like they're Spalding and say, you'll get nothing and like it? <laughs> I want a hamburger. Honestly, no a cheese. I want. A, I want the Bucks. I want the Sixers. I want the Heat. You'll get <laughs> nothing and like it. Spalding, get your foot off the boat. <laughs> you know, uh, honestly, like, is that what's going to happen here? Because what's the way out? What's the way out? You just play. You're here. We go. Let's tip it. Let's tip it. Christmas week, let's go. Let's tip it. You're here with John Wall. We're all testing negative. Knock on wood if you're with me, and we're going to start playing the NBA season, and 
not in a bubble with no fans. And Harden, you're going to be here traveling the country with a team you don't want to be with, and they're going to be fine with it, and everything's fine. And Or, or is a blockbuster trade really going to happen in the next 10 days? Is that really what's going down? And John Wall gets his exit visas from Washington, D.C., and has nobody left there except whoever they bring in for Harden? It doesn't Because seem he like was acquired it. with nobody else for Westbrook. He's just basically, they just swap yeah, guys. Swap. Yeah. Right? They got a draft pick, I think, back. But. Tell me if what I'm saying is out of the realm of insanity here. But that's not what the league, has, the history of the league has shown. Oh, and I would not, if I'm the Miami Heat coming off of that season, basically tell everybody, hey, that was really great in the bubble and we bonded and this and that. Yeah. And how, by the way, three of you are gone for James Harden. Let's see how this works. I wouldn't do that. Would you? If you're the Heat? Do you have to give up Tyler Hero? God, I love him. <laughs> you do. That wouldn't. Let me ask you this question. Hey, I'm at the Jabai. Hold on a second. If you're Houston, wouldn't Tyler Hero be the first name you say? Yes. Even before Bam Adebayo, wouldn't it be? I think so. Just the way for the me, league, it would be. The I'll, league's I'll, going. I'll take. I'll take the kid who can barely. Is he, is he drinking age yet? Ooh. I'll take that kid. Okay, I'll take him. Nope. January twentieth. There you go. I'll take the twenty-year-old to start. To start. Now what? Now what? But Harden in Miami would be pretty damn big too. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.